Well, expand your literary horizons as the Margins Conference and Book Festival and amplifies voices from marginalized communities. So joining me now is Vinayanka Prasad. She's co-executive director of The Word, a storytelling sanctuary. And Chris Aguilar-Garcia, he's the program director. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. So tell us what your organization's about. So The Word is a literary arts organization that um, our, our mission is storytelling for collective abundance. Mm -hmm. And what that really means is that we're opening pathways for the richest, broadest range of voices to share stories because we know that that is the pathway to the richest, broadest world that we can live in. And talk about spe specifically supporting writers from communities. Why is it so important to support them? Right. Well, the... Um I mean, there's an amazing amount of mm -hmm. talent, creativity, and stories within those communities, and uh, we just want to have those uh, those stories not be unheard. And programs yeah. like this really help those writers develop their voices. What's your favorite part about it? Oh, my favorite part is um, just getting to interact with all of the people who come in, mm -hmm. and just it's a great. Uh, uh, community of people um, within the conference um, and just such a support as as a writer as well both developing my own writing practice and meeting other folks who are doing it as well. That is fabulous. Yeah. So tell us about what you have in store for this year's Margins Literary Conference and Book Festival. A lot going on, right? Very exciting. Very exciting. There is a lot, <laughs> yes. So, tell us about it. Yeah. Well, the conference is, uh, we do three tracks in the conference. So mm -hmm. there is an opportunity for writing craft the business of publishing, and then, as I just said, like uh, community building as well. Mm -hmm. That's the main focus of the conference. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And the book festival is so much more than just books. There are books. There's opportunities to meet. There are going to be writers who are National Book Award and Pulitzer finalists coming in, and we have a huge range of local writers who are going to be part of this conference. But then on top of that, it's film. There's going to be a fashion show. Mm -hmm. There are opportunities for young folks to come in and create poetry. There are opportunities to um, join in open mics that are happening along the Santa Fe Arts District. And that's one of the really neat pieces about the festival is that it's not just what the word is bringing, mm -hmm. it's a community co-creation. This yeah. is really something that we're doing with the Santa Fe Arts District, with arts organizations all across the city. Lots to do and so exciting, right? And lots of art as well coming this year. Absolutely. So all of the art galleries all along Santa Fe are part of this Art Walk and Book Festival. And so you can come out and do a variety of things. You can mm -hmm. come watch a panel for one hour and then you can run over to an art gallery and take in some visual art cool. right yeah. next door. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you both. Uh, the Word is putting on that festival this weekend. It's in the Santa Fe Arts District, as we just heard. We'll have a full schedule and tickets at cbscolorado.com.